I learned a new tip this week and I just thought I'd share it. It's pretty helpful and super simple. Uh, for uplighting, you get the tilted walls, which you can purchase in the awesome shop. And you use the 4 meter, and now that's, you know, it's a wall, so just like a vertical wall, the wall mounted floodlights can connect to it. So, what I'd like to do is kind of put it on the bottom, and then you just rotate as far as it'll go back. And now that is now facing upwards. Uh, it's real nice to light up a build. All right, for those that don't know, this is a lighting control panel. It works just like the power switch in that uh, you run power to this side, and then on this side, instead of running uh, a, a separate circuit, you're now running uh, whatever you want your lights to be controlled to. So this lighting control panel will control everything downstream. So you can change the intensity, which is probably the most important thing that this provides because the uh, full light in this game can be pretty severe sometimes. Night mode, it uh, if you turn that on, it lights are on in the nighttime, but in the daytime they turn off. You can serve power. This is just your normal off, and then this is your option to select different lights. So yeah, that's what we kind of have going on here. This is just three lights. Red, purple, blue, all set to about a 30% intensity. So you get a wall like this. And you can turn it into that. Alright, next let's look at signs. You can also use any sign as a light in the game. It's a little bit different in that it doesn't emit light onto surrounding objects. But it still, you know, shines. The way you want to do that, you can go to layout. Simplify it to just letters or just pictures. And then delete that. Then select color, your background. Uh, you select that, and then your emission strength, you want to put it at a 2 or a 3. Sorry, and that should be the background color. And that's it. And so people do that a lot. You can kind of do like a track lighting. And it's copy-paste for settings, for lights, for signs. And also, for those that don't know, this is a, a metal pillar here. You can use a metal or a concrete pillar, and if you get it laid on its side like this, you can use the top and bottom to rotate signs. So with just that, that rotation, and then you know you can rotate the angles, and then once you kind of have that where you need to go, you can clip using that one. So that gives you just uh, a lot of different possibilities. That's what I did for the AI limiter. And so the emission strength on all these are two, except I think these up here, and then these two right here for each of these rows, those are each at the emission strength three. So you can just kind of see how it, how it's a little bit different, a little bit brighter. Another trick with signs as lights is you can use a beam. So anywhere you place a beam, you can take a sign a small billboard and you can run it on the sign so you can use that to your advantage in terms of different angles putting lights wherever you want just an example of that it kind of I ran a beam down here underground and then I put them it on top of that and then you could have a lit walkway came up with this as a kind of a, using a blueprint as a way to get a light on an unnatural surface kind of like this. But yeah, it's just kind of like a sled with a light on it. And you can just use that anywhere in the terrain. You hold control and you can kind of back it in. Uh, watching the bottom of the light post, making sure it's hidden. And then anywhere you put that, um, the design is now hidden except for the light. And then you just kind of have to get creative in terms of hiding the power cord. So yeah, the sled's super easy to make. You just place two foundations, then put the light anywhere on it, and then 
yeah, you can now put it in terrain. I mean, you can also use it in your factories. There's, I think there's easier ways there. But, yeah, I found that useful for being out here. But, yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully some of these tips help. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.